fam. Oh, everybody out there's having a fantastic time. So today's video, we're going to be doing a modification to frostbite that we should have done probably a long time ago. Um, just been putting it off and with the summer heat that's been going on and with the supercharger on the truck now, we have a, you know, that big intercooler is in front of our radiator. And I have noticed when we are hot lapping the truck at the track, the temperature is getting, you know, around 200 degrees, which isn't bad, um, but a little bit warmer than I want it to be. So most of you guys know we're not running a clutch fan on Frostbite. We're just running the factory electric fan that comes on the truck. Now, a lot know that there is a modification you can do. You can get a V6 Ram electric fan, which is what we have right here. And that will replace the factory Ram electric fan that's currently on the truck. Now the difference is, is the V6 fan is much larger and it has its own shroud built onto the fan itself. So it pretty much covers the entire radiator and it just creates a much, much more flow through the radiator itself and definitely helps keep the truck cooler. So we're going to put one on finally. So we're going to be taking the old electric fan off and installing this fan. Now, I ended up getting the Dorman electric fan. Part number is 621-410. I picked it up on Amazon, and I believe on Amazon the fan was around $100, like $120, I think, somewhere in there. But definitely under $200 for this fan. I'm going to take it out of the box real quick. And again, guys, this... This fan is absolutely huge compared to the stock one. So there you go. That is the new V6 fan that we're going to install. And as you can see, it has its own shroud built onto the fan. So it pretty much will cover the entire radiator and create much more flow of air going through the radiator. And it should definitely help with the larger fan itself to pull more air through the front of the truck with our intercooler that's currently on the truck. Now this is pretty much a direct bolt-in. It replaces the stock one pretty much. The factory electrical connector will pretty much plug in Sometimes you got to reroute some of the wiring, but we're going to do that. So heck yeah, guys. Let's go uh, get the old fan off and start putting on this new V6 fan and uh, get to work. All right, guys. So step one is going to be removing this top piece that's over the uh, radiator area so that we can expose a metal clip that's right here on top. So you'll just pop out all the little clips and remove this guy right here. And then there's a couple metal clips you will need to remove. And this is the one that is on the bottom. And there's also one on the top. So I already removed the one on the bottom. The one on the top is right here. You'll see it. It's right in the center of the stock electric fan. And it clips onto the top of the radiator. A flat screwdriver will get it done. So just pop it off. And there you go. That is the clip. So now the next thing is, um, many of you know I already don't, we don't have a clutch fan on this truck already. So I will not be showing you that, but there is plenty of videos out there that shows you how to remove the clutch fan if you are trying to do that as well. So. The only thing holding the electric fan on now is the electrical connector. And then there's two tabs over here you got to press in. And basically, the fan will unlatch and you just pull it straight up out of the way. I'll show you those latches and the electrical connector right now. All right, so this is the electrical connector on the driver's side. You will need to unplug this. And then right here is one of the
clips you'll have to press. If you see this right here, you push this back and the fan will slide up. That's the only thing holding the fan in. There's one on each side. So you'll press those in and pull straight up. Once you unhook the electrical connector and the fan will pull straight up out of the way. So let's do that real quick. All right, so I'm gonna unplug the electrical connector real quick. And now I'm gonna press the two tabs in and pull up on the fan. And there you go. So that is a stock fan. And as you can tell and see, there is not really any shroud built onto this. So it pretty much only pulls air through the very center of the fan. So the V6 fan has that bigger shroud and it's gonna pull a lot more air through. All right guys, so here is both fans next to each other stock fan over here on the left and the new v6 fan over here on the right now you can see how it has a built-on fan shroud that's pretty large versus the stock fan that doesn't have anything also the fan blades and the fan itself is slightly larger than the stock fan so this is going to do a much better job of keeping the truck cool. So let's go get this guy put in frostbite real quick. All right, guys, we're going to drop in the new fan. It is slightly larger, so we're going to have to probably wiggle it around a little bit.
All right, guys, so we got it dropped in. There's two bolts on each side. There's one bolt on each side that we're going to take out that will actually be able to bolt this as well as clipping it back on just like the stock one was. All right, guys, we're going to get this last 13 millimeter bolt in on the driver's side. And once I get this thing tight, I will show you what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to put this metal clip back on top up here where the top of the radiator is. All right, guys, I'm going to bring the camera over here so you guys can see what it looks like bolted in. All right. So here is one of the mounting locations right here. You'll use this bolt and that clip, just like the factory setup. And top metal clip right here. And it'll be the same thing over here. for this mounting location. You'll use that bolt and that clip and it goes on just like the stock one. And I'm really liking the way that this is looking. It kind of cleaned it up a little bit, makes it look more like stock. Definitely fits like a glove. And also has the area up here to hold the upper radiator hose which just clips in right here on the new fan. Now for the electrical connector, mine has just enough slack if I undid the extra little clips holding it on to plug into the new location right here on the, on the new fan. So if I just grab the connector and pull it over here like so, it will plug in, clip in, clip in just like stock. No modifications, no cutting wires, no anything. It plugs right in just like it's supposed to. Very, very easy. So that's it. Completely installed. So there you go, guys. New V6 electric fan is completely installed on Frostbite. This was super, super simple. Had this done in under 30 minutes. Very, very easy to do. Very easy and a great modification to do to your Ram truck if you need some extra cooling power. So again, the link to this fan will be in the video description. Again, this is a Dorman fan, uh, part number 621-410. So if you need one or you're looking for one, Link will be in the description. I did get this one off of Amazon and it was under $200. I think it was like 120 bucks or somewhere right there. So other than that guys, that's gonna do it for the video. So as always guys, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell button for the notifications and we'll see you guys on the next one.